The heroes are portal into the story, and by empathising with them, it pulls us along on their journey. In this episode, we will talk about some tips about how to come up with a hero for your script, and I'll also share um, some thoughts on the hero in my story. Although I'm trying to write this script for a full-length movie over the next four weeks, this part of the complete series is actually about inspiring you to go on your own hero's journey in life and at work. From a psychological point of view, the hero represents the ego, and we go on a journey from the selfish ego through authenticity and sacrifice, ultimately to transformation, not only of yourself, but of the world. For now, we're in chapter three of Save the Cat. And to help define our hero, we're going to come up with one adjective that describes the hero, another adjective for the bad guy, and then also a common and relatable goal. So for example, in Batman, Batman's very controlled. His arch enemy, the Joker, is very impulsive. But they've both got similar methods around fear. You know, Batman wants to strike fear into those that prey on the fear of others. And the Joker's trying to use fear to cause a ruckus and chaos. In my story, the hero is a bit acquiescent. He goes with the flow a little too much. Whereas the antagonist is very knowing and worldly wise and cunning. Now they both want the same goal, which is love and acceptance, but they're going about it in completely different ways, which conflict. So we've come up with our adjectives. And the next step is just to really check that the, the who of the story supports the overall what is it of the story. Now this is just a check to make sure you're not getting completely carried away in the wrong direction, coming up with this cool hero, which is irrelevant or inappropriate to support your story. Perhaps they're not relatable at all because they're too perfect. So you wanna make sure that your hero has plenty of flaws that are gonna be fixed over the course of the story. Next, we're gonna see if a different who ramps up the drama on the what is it of the story. For example, could my hero be a woman, uh, older, married, from a different uh, background, or have a different job, or some hidden talent? For example, they could be a stand-up comedian, um, a secret agent, or perhaps even a serial killer. Now, when I was doing this exercise, I, I don't particularly like uh, horror movies, but the idea of my hero being a serial killer was quite entertaining and, and entertaining enough to take uh, that as a creative exercise into the next part of the series, which is the beat sheet and structure. Just to explore where that leads me. Next, you wanna make sure your hero has a primal desire that's easily understood and connects with the audience. Uh, for example, it could be life and death stakes, you know, hunger, sex, protection of loved ones, etc. For my hero, the stakes are really avoiding a dead end life. Uh, he's been cheated on by his girlfriend, passed over for promotion, so clearly if he do doing nothing is not an option. What I would have called in the old consulting days, this guy's got a burning platform, he has to move forward. Next, I uh, did a couple of pages just in stream of consciousness about who my character was. What's a typical day in his life? Uh, what would he do on his birthday or at the weekends? What sort of music does he like? What's his favorite movies, etc.? Does he have any sayings or catchphrases that he tries to live by? Coming up with a complete character helps not only in making your story interesting and believable, uh, but also in resolving some plot points as we go forward. Um, I was stuck doing the next exercise, which is about beats and structure, and I just had to think back to my hero's strengths and weaknesses, and that gave me uh, an answer of how I can move forward and, and get out of the predicament, which was the, the central uh, decisive action that our hero takes that resolves the story. That's it for this episode. Join me again next time where we'll talk about beats and, and story structure. Until then, all the best.